Hi, I'm Ken. Congratulations on your new purchase. I'm going to go over a couple things you need to know about the trailer. We're going to start here at the front jack. You have an on and off switch right here just for the light. That's all that controls, but you have up down here. Right here located is going to be your manual control underneath this removable plug. You're going to have your tanks here that are going to be equipped with a changeover valve. The lights on the front cap. And that's going to be a switch here, but we're going to go over your manual crank for your jacks is going to be located in your front compartment. As you can see, that moves your jacks in the event that you won't have any power. Those are going to be in the front compartment here, along with a blue coil hose. You have two switches up here that says extend, retract. That's going to be your stabilizing jacks, and that's all they are. They do not level. Above that, you'll find your breakaway or your battery disconnect cable. Beside that, you're going to have a switch that turns the front cap lights on or off. Here's going to be your docking station. And this has a little prop here that you can slide down to keep it up. You have tank fill and city fill. That refers to this blue handle here. Right now, it's set to tank fill. If you want to use campground water, that's the setting you're going to be in. Anytime you're done filling, say you've filled up your tank, you've unhooked, turn it down to city so that you can use the water. Otherwise, it will cycle back through the tank. You have a black tank flush. Anytime hooked to that, you're going to want to be dumping the black tank itself. Cable and satellite hookups are here. Marked top one satellite, bottom one's cable. And that blue coiled hose is going to go right here for an outside shower with hot and cold. Okay. You have gray tank and black tank stickers here. Underneath, you're going to find a gray handle for the gray tank and a black handle for the black tank. Pulling them opens those. usually for the rear kitchen that's going to be located it's a little bit further underneath behind the tire you're just going to pull that to open it okay. that's going to come out over here at this extra station going around the back there's a little hatch here where it's going to have your 30 amp cable power when you want to plug in that just slides in there don't push too far or it will fall in you'll have to access it from inside to push it back out Lift and turn on the handle. That's how that's going to move for you. You have outlets and cable for a TV if you wanted to put out here. Access to the refrigerator. Anyone want to get in there to clean out some bees, insects, uh, debris, anything like that. You're just going to turn these 90 degrees and that will open those. Right here you have your water heater. Lift, turn, pull. Now it's not on a hinge. It's on two little posts. But there's two things that you can do in here. You can turn turn on and off the uh, electric element that's located here and beside that you have a plug which is the way you're going to drain it otherwise cleaning debris out of here and bugs is the only reason you want to remove this and finally to end the video you just have your other side of your compartment which is fairly big storage here and a little light that's manually controlled with your finger that went pretty good